Our Board of Supervisors, all five, want to return this money, every single penny. Those words from Henrico County Manager John Vitokas Friday as county leaders announce a two-part plan to address large increases in residents' personal property tax bills, something they say they've gotten many calls and emails about. Thank you. We heard you. The increase was driven by higher than expected valuations on vehicles, an issue stemming from the pandemic as supply chains were disrupted, impacting the car market. Officials say when crafting the upcoming budget, they projected a 15% increase in personal property tax revenue. But absolutely never anticipated values in the 30 plus percent range. That increase is expected to lead to over $20 million in additional funds they now want to return to residents. I'm excited you know, that we are able to give back, um, just give the citizens back their money. Officials say the first part of the relief plan will be a vote next week to give a two-month extension to pay first-half tax bills. From June 6th to August 5th, 2022, without penalties or interest. Then officials say changes to state law that take effect July 1st will allow localities to return surplus property tax revenues to residents. They say they will provide a 52 cent credit on vehicles for the second half bills that are sent out in October and due in December. This will effectively reduce the tax rate on these vehicles to $2.98 for the entire year. As examples, officials say a car assessed at $12,000 would see over a $62 credit and a $130 credit for a vehicle assessed at $25,000. Officials say with this plan and the real estate tax relief passed earlier this year, the county will provide $51 million in tax relief in 2022. The bottom line is that our county, Henrico County, is committed to keeping taxes low and pushing them lower. And again, this will be happening in two parts. The first next week when supervisors will vote to extend by two months the deadline for the first half payments. And then later in the summer, once that state law goes into effect, they will vote on that 52 cent rebate.